Hello, I'm Andrew and welcome back to Halo Wars 2. We're going to be doing the last mission of the campaign today, Last Stand. Which seems to consist of Anna's running away from Scarab. Fair enough. We're going to do normal difficulty because I am tired of her Professor, just turning to a slug. what's the update at the control room? I'm in, and I think I found the Halo's weapon systems. Once I've deactivated them, then I'll place the comms beacon. Keep us updated. Jerome. Atriox will be sending everything to stop us. You need to hold the line and protect the professor in the control room until she's finished her work. Won't let you down, sir. The clock's ticking, and we don't have time to drop a base and build it up. You're going to have to rely on turret defenses, so keep them up and running. Fresh troops will be sent in directly from the Spirit of Fire as soon as they're <sighs> ready to deploy. And I've got all the ship's weapon systems primed and ready, so we'll help as much as we can from up here. Okay, everyone. Let's get to work. Good luck. The game is not good when I don't have access to a firebase. And also, you're sending troops in. Isn't that what the firebase does anyway? Because the animations are all coming down from orbit. Like, we're not training people there in like two minutes, being like, yeah, we've managed to birth a human, train them up to the age of, I don't know, 25 or something, and uh, also give them like full marine training. You have to hold the banished back until the seconds. professor's done her work. Don't worry, sir, we've got her. <sighs> and it looks like we've got company right now. This control room has a defensive shield, but it won't last long. You just keep the wolves at bay. Okay. The Spirit of Fire's weapons are at your disposal, Spartan. Get the ship in the fight. Turrets and restoration drones are online. Call in support when you need it. The Spirit of Fire is standing by to assist Jerome. Use everything you can. We have to keep the Professor safe. Okay, those lines, like, normally Isabel has a fairly decent, like, voice. Those lines felt really forced. Like, mechanically forced. Oh, do I just have infinite resources to build turrets? Okay. In which case, I'm gonna build all of them. Marines reporting for duty. Need something char-grilled? Red and understood. You need that char-grilled. banished heading to your position, team. Lock and load. No one crosses that line. <laughs> Chocolate is good. Sound off, Marines! Oh, here they come. My Marines are ready to serve. Right. Any more Anybody turrets and stuff? Messing with? Mm, ooh. Yeah. Stand two, troops. And move it there. Turret constructed. Turret constructed. Another one bites the dust. Turret constructed. Okay, so we've got a Nightingale here. That's going to be our healer. It's not the Nightingale, there we go. Get the Nightingale up here for some heals. I've got another Nightingale here as well. Turret constructed. Right, come on. Get up here. Let's grab ourselves a ghost, because why not? Free ghost. Wake up, troops. Hostile. I would like you to be an anti-infantry turret. Anti-infantry turret. And there are oh, there are turrets on the bottom one. I guess I'll keep them generic for now. Hmm. Don't panic. Ground troops I'm here. Are trying their luck. They're trying their luck. Lucky I Good for them. Turret oh, you upgraded. can't, because your ability's used up. Okay, how about you? Upgraded. You? Ah, you get them by the time they kill. The Banished have warlords on the field overseeing their troops. Eliminating them will disrupt the Banished's chain of command. Roger, sir. Nothing like sowing a little chaos. Is that like a bonus objective? Oh, optional. Okay. Oh, that's some enemy forces there. Okay. We'll be sending in reinforcements directly from the ship just as soon as they're ready to deploy. Uh, we've got close support. That's pretty awesome. Close support is a pretty Red amazing ability. Reinforcements are ready for you at the LZ. Oh, right. Let's use these I'm reinforcements there. straight away. I'm gonna hit the warlord over here. On hostiles, leathernecks. Marines under assault from enemy ground forces. Spartan, moving out. 
Uh, okay, suicide grunts. Sit back and let the drones do their work. We'll also get some lotus mines down. All units. Right. Continue on. It'll be a walk in the park. Restoration drones out. I'll get there. I'm under attack from ground we'll troops. Over, sir. And then we'll close their support. Let's get you fixed up. Along with arch missiles. There we go. Close their support's pretty amazing. Basically, like a ton of Thunderhawk gunships just go. Thunderhawk gunships? Sorry. I mean, they basically are. They've like, got missile pods in the back and everything. They're pretty awesome. Warlord out of action. Oh, that was easier than I expected. Getting going. Leader power ready. The gunships are pretty amazing. The cooldown on them is eh, not terrible. Since I don't have like a cap on the number of people I can have, I should probably just spam ODSTs all the time. All units. But we should probably come up here and heal you. All units. Yeah, you're the most injured. Who wants this? Uh, we can take just them. Looks fine, just in case. All units. Uh, we'll help up the fighting, I feel. Then we'll hit the next warlord. Receiving fire from ground troops. On the move. They did pretty easy. Let's just hit the warlord. Leader power ready. Arch missiles are ready. I'm there. Keep going. Tango down. Oh. All units. That was a bit of a waste of ability. I was hoping we could get Let's like the vehicle there, up. but it died too quick. Leader power ready. As good as dead. Oh, you're picking on the wrong guy. Lucky guy. Destroyed an enemy structure. All units. Okay, make sure to kill that. We need the engineer down. There we go. ODST drop. All units. We've got reinforcements for you now, red team. Done. Get it going. Oh, scorpions. Nice. We've unlocked a skull. Yay! Alright, the important part here is to make sure the nightingales stay up. Because they can heal. I mean, I have the Healy Field as well if I need it. Under assault from enemy troops. Need support. Ready for duty. Oh. Watch God damn it. Don't use your ability. Ready. Ah, what a waste. They got killed marginally before I pressed the uh, board button, so we ended up just Under boarding nothing, which means that they used their jump ability. Which shares the same cooldown timer, annoyingly. Where is another Spartan? Over good, here. Sir. Where's the action? Making my way. I'm going to try and get there. Yeah, we never get Oh, let's get over here. All units. On the run. Okay, that's a lot more people to kill. Make my way. Hostile ground troops are trying to lock. Let's put down some Leader mines up here. Ready. All units. Out of you. Thank you. Leader power ready. Another hostile down. On the way. We aren't killing people quick enough. Thank you. Please Take die. I wish I had a timer telling me like how long I have to be defending for. What's the status, Professor? It's complicated. So many protocols. I'm probably halfway there. I need more time. Okay, halfway there. Good. Fast, I'll take Professor. that. We'll buy her the time, sir. Power ready. Okay, Lotus Mines. All units. We have reinforcements standing by for you, Red Team. All units. 
Right. Get over here. Oh, Grizzlies! Oh, no. Don't come up here. That's not allowed. Splitting the team in two. Okay, you should be fine. Leader power ready. Think. Oh, actually, no. Leader power ready. Yeah, you need to die. Why not? I should just spam these powers since they just be used over and over and over again. Pretty cool. Moving. Right, put your reserve up here. Local you units. can be here. Group and two. you can be over here. Out. I'm going to put down some more mines as well. And we'll drop some ODSTs on your face. Which is ready fun. for your command, Red Team. Leader power ready. Hi. Local Getting units. Set. Move out. There we go. Oh. Spotted. Over. We've got a whole load of aircraft. Um. Group two. Where am I needed? Group two assigned. Group one. Yes, group one assigned. On the way. Okay, move group you there. Two. Group two. Moving you got out. three night. Wow, each of those is three uh, Nighthawks that they can heal. That's quite a lot. Okay, yeah, you need to move up here to take out a load of. Oh, there's locusts oh. everywhere. Group two. Oh, look, group two, you need to go up here. Wrong one. On the Leader power ready. Group one. I need to come down here. And then. Come on, stand still. Sent vehicles after me. Group Good one. for them. Tango Move back spot. up north. Group two. I'll be there. Going. Leader power ready. Mud up. Mud up. Copy that. Leader power ready. More ODSTs? Moving I'm being now. spoiled. Under fire from ground troops. Local units. The charges. They want us there yesterday. Leader power ready. Red team. Please don't get destroyed. You the LZ. You're lucky. I'm Ooh. Order, sir. Don't mind if I do. Let's get a Kodiak targets. up there. Triangulating targets. Complying. Yeah, Kodiaks could be useful. I'm getting Just a feeling that there's going to be air down. units. Oh, what? hi. Stay on target, Professor. This is what we're here for. Isabel, what's the status of that new gunship? We need it now. The Condor's on the way, Captain. Nothing like live combat to test a new design. My crew is ready for action, sir. Where do you need us, sir? Target that scarab. We can't let it reach the control room. Playback time. Make it hurt, guys. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. Leader power ready. The Condor special ability is a high something 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 minigun something, I think. Oh, we lost someone in here. Right, we need someone. You. Why are you so injured? What the hell did you get injured by? All units. Okay. Everyone. Take this puppy out. Condor, are you using your like special Lizzie? Okay. Scarab is down. 
Professor, how are we doing? Just finishing up. Hang on. Oh, wow, that was easy. Okay, I've done it. The ring's disarmed, and the communications relay is in place. Well, that's a little more complicated. I'm going to have to go down into the ring to set it up. I need more time. We're counting on you, Professor. Jerome, that's hold fine. the control room at all costs so the Professor can get back to us when she's done. It's not I'm like not him under pressure. Anybody behind. Copy that, sir. Apart from people who've died, team. you know, they've been left behind. Bye-bye. Group four. I guess we'll put the condor like over here Red or something. Understood. Leader power ready. Right. ODSTs. Leader power ready. Sounds like they need the professional. Get you over here. Ooh. They ain't getting up from that. You're pretty injured. Let's actually fix that. Hell jumpers here. More than a scratch. Let's go, hell jumpers. Just move some nightingales over there temporarily to do some healing. Show me where it hurts. Enemy air units trying to take me and down. Lotus mines. Air units where? Let's get you fixed where? up. Where? Oh. Well, they weren't really trying very hard, were they? They I died some pretty much. Anti-air support. ASAP. Uh oh, that was the railgun you've got. Yeah, so this thing here, the condor, has a railgun. Look at that. And it's pointing in the wrong direction for Banshees, like pointing at the ground, but whatever, it still manages to hit these things. Pretty sure that shot missed, but eh, it died. Being harassed by enemy air. Can anyone assist? Yeah, it's doing a good job. Tango spotted. Lock and load, Marines. I'll take on all comers. Bring it. There's actually quite a lot of Banshees there, like a Back. Yeah, just keep healing. Sadly, I think all the Wolverines died. Leader power ready. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all the Wolverines are dead. Oh no, no, we've got four Wolverines. Group three assigned. I've got bogeys. We've got reinforcements for you now, Red Team. There we go. Much better. Marines under fire from enemy air Oh, units. we've got vultures. Ready to do what needs to be done. Nice. There's going to be a wreck. Watch out, team. The banished have sent in artillery. Really? Where? We can stand our hands That's not artillery. Where's artillery? It'll be their annoying little things that fly down and be like plonk plonk. Pop, 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 pop. There we go. That's what I meant by the things that go plonk plonk pow 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 pow. Group one. Right, so that's that group. This won't take Murder this. Nightingale under air assault, please advise. You should die easily. You died easily enough. Group one. Start moving out. Make Pretty my way. Back in. Yeah, you're healing up now. That's Good. Local units. And yeah, that cycle can come back. Another one. If, like, if they're planning on flying over me, then that's fine. Like, just feel free. Enemy air units trying to take me down. Oh no, are you gonna you're gonna sit down? I think. Group one. Okay, yeah, we do need to. Take that. Is anyone else trying that? Sir. We won't be able to hold them off indefinitely. Really? Professor, we seem to be doing a pretty good time's job. Time's running out. No, time isn't running out. We're doing well. The communications array is ready, Captain. But you said it yourself. You can't leave until the banished are gone. I found something down here that'll help. Mine too. Moving out. Whatever it is, it better work, Professor. Are you going to fire the halo but key it to their genome or something weird? Well, it doesn't get key to their genome. The halos, like, act on your neural pathways somehow. Leader power ready. Something like that. Dear God, I pressed A. Drop the damn turret already. There we go. I'm not getting frustrated. You're getting frustrated. We're getting shelled down here. Go 
Okay, what about you? Yeah, you're fine. The enemy has taken out one of our ground units. And you, yes, please continue to bunch up. Yeah, those ODSTs are meant to be a speed bump more than anything. Local units. Enemy forces nearby. Right. Gunships? Oh, that's amazing. Yes, more of that, please. Leader power ready. Yes. Captain, he's back. Put him through. You think you can stand against me? I who defy the covenant itself. Hi, our entire race. Here's your notice, Atriox. The Ark is our home now, and it's under our protection. Cut an Ismo. I've heard enough. Captain, I didn't think you could make him any matter, but. Leader power ready. I don't think that's an issue. I'll be honest. All units. Roger, we've got them on the ropes, Captain. But it's only a matter of time before they send more. Professor, what's the plan? I've gained control of the Halo's gravity anchors, Captain. Get our troops clear and get ready. Leader power ready. I'm there. Moving to position. We got this. I mean, I'd love to have the uh, all units. Colonel gunships available for this, but it we got won't this. Be a problem. I'm under fire from the enemy. I need backup. Let's get over the STs. Holographic decoy. Healy field. We'll just drop everything. Hope it regens by the time we get the next one. All units. An enemy scarab is out of the fight. No time. Oh, that holograph is going down. Holograph, hologram. Roger. You know what I mean. Shush. Sure, sure. Sit back and let the drones do their work. Right, turret. Please do a distraction. All units. Keep it up. Let's get you fixed up. You brought down an enemy scout. Next. One last hostile to bother us, over. Is the game slightly chugging, like slowing down? I don't know, it seems like people are walking ever so slightly slower than they did. All units. Hmm. Come on, give me the Kandor gunships. Or, you know, we could win. All units. Leader power ready. Just casually walking underneath the scarabs it falls. That's, that's fine. That's not going to be an issue. Ready. Oh, I've just got to hold out. I didn't actually need to kill them. Leader oh. Power ready. That's Our fine. Are clear, Professor. Whatever you're going to do, do it now. Leader power ready. Oh, finally a cutscene.
Let's do it. That'll do it. Captain, it's done. Professor Andrews, we are on our way. Get to the rendezvous. With all due respect, Spartan, I don't believe that's an option any longer. Professor Anders, there must be some way... Don't worry, Captain. As soon as I'm back to the Sol system, I'll get that beacon out. If that's not how you spell Sol. Professor! And then I can figure out how to get back to you. Captain? The other teams are clear? Yes, sir. ETA to the Spirit of Fire is five minutes. Bring up the map. We have a lot of work to do until she gets back. I kept it. Okay, so why did we kill the small amount of units we did? If that's like... You fought with honor and courage. A well-earned victory. Oh, that was the easiest goal ever. Like, why bother playing on more difficult... You're joking. Oh my god. Apparently there's something after the credits, so I will leave it till after the credits. But, right, okay. Why did we kill that small amount of units and eject part of them from the Halo into space? When they were like, oh, there's like a couple of people there. And then, oh, by the way, his entire army's here. The campaign also doesn't, like doesn't solve anything. We sent a halo away to try and get the word out of some such nonsense. The Spirit of Fire is still stuck. We haven't defeated the Banished. Like, what did we actually accomplish? The story is... I, I know, like, you know, the story in strategy games is never the massive strong point, but at least in, like, Halo Wars 1, you had a reasonable story going on. It wasn't, you know, we're not talking like Shakespeare or anything, but it was like, yeah, you manage to find a couple of ways and you get to the shield world, and then you go inside the shield and you're like, oh crap, this is like a forerunner, like, navy shield world. It has like an entire armada in here, and the Covenant are trying to turn them on. This is terrible, we should destroy it. I mean, it's not great, but it's Halo, right? That's, that's what you want from a campaign. This? What did we actually accomplish? Nothing. We also didn't end up fighting Aterox, we didn't like defeat him in any way, we just destroyed a little small tiny bit of his army, and by the way he had a much bigger one. And it's like, oh yeah, cool, um, you're stuck here fighting, basically, eternally. Ha! Welcome to multiplayer! Oh, come off it, mate. That was the most utterly, like, a campaign is either a campaign like, it's a standalone story, that's effectively what a campaign is. Or it's a tutorial. If it was a tutorial, it was an incredibly boring, drawn-out tutorial. If it was a campaign, it was a pretty bad campaign. I mean, the design for the missions as well was pretty terrible. Um... You know, I'm gonna critique the campaign all the way to hell, because that's what I've played on the channel. Uh, the skirmish is fun! But I can't see that campaign being it worth it as an intro to skirmish. It's got some nice cutscenes, but... It has, like, five of them. Maybe even less. And like you had three of them at the start of the game. So you're like, cool, a cutscene, cool, a cutscene. And what, why am I playing this game again? The The design of the missions is generally kind of eh. Um, the difficulty, it just makes it more tedious. Um, I didn't massively find that turning up to Heroic was really anything other than a slugfest. Uh, that last mission... I have played other missions on hard. Like, I know I went up and down in difficulty. That last mission was actually easier than some of the other normal missions. In fact, I'd say it was probably easier than some of the starting missions. I... I don't know, like... From a game design standpoint, in terms of how they, like, designed the campaign missions, and from a story point of, like, the story, it was pretty abysmal. Like... One and a half stars. 
I mean, one star, one st like, you could have zero star, I guess, maybe. And a one star is like, this is utter trash. Like, it's not really two stars. The game itself, I think, is probably like this sort of three star game in that it's like, it does the job, but it's nothing special. I mean, if you're on console, like, I don't know, on PC, it's less than three stars because you've got other strategy games that are pretty damn good and they do what they do. What Halo had going through it, in my view, was it had a kind of cool campaign behind it. You know, normal strategy games, they're just like, ah, these days, let's just give up on the campaign. Whereas Halo Wars 1 had a, you know, a solid, it wasn't great, but it was solid, which is surprising for a strategy game. Halo Wars 2 was kind of a, by the way, if you want to stop watching and you don't want to, like, see the end cutscene thing, feel free. Or just skip ahead in the video. I'm just trying to fill space. It's what I do in my life. But, but yeah, like... Halo Wars 1 actually had a decent campaign, which is surprising for a strategy game. Halo Wars 2 was like, yeah, we should try doing this. And honestly, they should have just decided to either not or decide to actually do it. Like, it wasn't compelling in any way. I'm not even sure exactly why we launched the Halo to get word or whatever, some such. But then again, I wouldn't launch a Halo if his weapons could be activated. Yeah, we had to go there and defend the Halo. Why did we do that? Oh, to risk the banished getting access to a Halo that could fire. That's not a good idea. Oh, but the Halo can only wipe out like one-seventh of the galaxy. Yeah, but they can jump, so you could jump them repeatedly. They shouldn't have ever activated the Halo. They should have just destroyed it in the ground. They shouldn't have done the campaign, but whatever. In terms of the rest of the, like, game, it's a reasonable game. You know, it's, uh, pretty reasonable. Um, less micro-focused, less resource focused game. There are a couple of flaws here and there. Uh, I do think certainly some of the Covenant powers, uh, are a little bit overpowered in Skirmish. But that's, you know, it's a little bit debatable. Um, the UI with the controller is a little bit lackluster, but then again, there's a controller. I mean... There's always going to be issues with it. Although I did feel that sometimes I was trying to press buttons and it wouldn't react the first few button presses. I've shown that before of the whole trying to double click on a unit to be able to select all units in a squad of uh, a particular type. It can be a bit weird. Some design choices are weird. They're just straight out, flat out weird. Like, it, when you pick a power for the first time, when you've got a leader point, you have to press A to get the power, which is normally the use button. But once you've got the power, it's A to use, and Y to upgrade it. Why don't they just make Y to upgrade to begin with? Because I, I think I was instinctively pressing Y every time when buying a power for the first time, because its spend point is Y. But no, not the first time. That's just an odd UI choice there. I mean, I, this cutscene's gonna go on. Can I just skip it? I don't, if I skip it, I might not get the end cutscene. Hmm. The sound was by Lucasfilm. Well, Stairwalk Sound, which is part of Lucasfilm. That's pretty cool. The sound design was good. Oh, this is, this is, there we go. Oh, back to PR. Okay, PR's less down the list. Localization. Cool. Te oh, we've got to the test groups. How many of them are there going to be? This is test group one. We'll find out when we get to test group like 996. Fair enough. Also, were they jumping back to Earth? In which case, the soul system is literally spelt Sierra Oscar Lima, not Sierra Oscar Echo Lima Lima. That's the Suel system? Maybe there's a different system that I'm thinking of, but surely if you're going to jump back to Earth, it's the soul system. Then again, humanity doesn't have many walls left. It does have some. Uh, I believe the Covenant wiped out most of... Nearly all of the outer colonies, most of the middle colonies. Some of the core colonies as well. And then they were like, oh, Earth, sweet. And then they all jumped on Earth before they actually finished killing off some of the other core colonies. So there are other colonies outside of Earth left. That said, it's hard to see as a vi like It's hard to see as a victory for humans. When humanity, I think, has gone down to like 3 billion or something. And they were, you know, imagine like 300 years from now, plus a load of other colonies. So we must have been at something like 30 billion. It's a pretty big loss.
wow, these credits really do roll on. I mean, skirmish is fine. Like, uh, problem. The problem with a, a game like Halo Wars is because of it's a fairly simple um, RTS. It's not a criticism. I enjoyed Halo Wars One plenty. Um, because it's a fairly simple RTS. Playing online can be a bit iffy. Like, I only played Halo Wars uh, 1 online because I played it with a mate. I never played it online solo because it's a social experience I enjoy. And that's true of most games to an extent. Like, watching paint dry is more fun with another person. But with a simple game, it's easy to cheese the tactics. And that can just be annoying if you're getting, like, cheesed on by someone who's just cheesed the tactics against you. Or if, you know, they're using a very simple rock, paper, scissors system. You just happen to pick the wrong rock. Or scissors. You get the point, basically. Uh, so I'm not really sure like how much the multiplayer will be enjoyable for general people. Like I wouldn't. I'd play it with a mate, but I wouldn't play it alone, not in a million years, just because that doesn't interest me. Um, and I don't think getting cheesed on would be that much fun. Like getting outplayed, yeah, that does happen. But something like Dota, you get outplayed, you don't often get cheesed. Because, you know, Dota's gone through a lot of balancing. I use Dota as an example just because it's a game where it's had a lot, a lot, a lot of multiplayer balancing. To the point where there's not so much cheese. Of course, there's still cheese tactics. But they aren't so cheesy as <laughs> Warthog Rush. Um, or whatever Halo Wars 2 meta will be. So, in terms of that, like, I don't know how the multiplayer balance for most people. I do enjoy the skirmish. Um, but I don't think I enjoy it as much as Halo Wars 1. And of course, maybe that's just because, you know, personally, I am... I played a lot of Halo Wars 1. You know, I was a fan of it. Didn't play it for, like, YouTube because that was before YouTube. So maybe I'm just a little bit, like, you know, nostalgic about that. That's possible. But at the same time, I do feel like they've tried to emphasize balance in a certain way with the whole rock, paper, scissors system. And then they try and drill that into you, especially in the, like, uh, tutorial. Not the campaign. There's an actual tutorial outside of the campaign. And then it's like, oh, by the way, this ground unit can actually shoot air units. This is really good at it. This air unit specializes at this. This ground unit specializes at this. It's like, okay, then why did you teach me the rock, paper, scissors system when literally Cyclops is an infantry unit that excels at shooting vehicles? Ooh, cutscene. Can I stop talking now, please? Dear God. Why did we drop out of slip space? Is that a forerunner? Or is it just a big scary sentinel? Could be a forerunner. Oh, cool! The game crashed! Well, that's great. Um, but yeah, I, I'm interested to see what people think. Like, obviously I've got a very interesting perspective on this because I don't tend to play the multiplayer that much. Um, I don't really play multiplayer as a social component. Uh, I didn't really like the campaign and I definitely had views on that. I think I made uh, pretty evident throughout it. And I really liked about Halo Wars 1 was the campaign had a, a pretty solid plot. Um, and, you know, lots of cutscenes to explain that plot. Like, it really got that across. Whereas in Halo Wars 2, it felt they went, you know, let's just slap a really, really second-rate plot on and then let's sprinkle it with a couple of cutscenes so that we can have some promotional material or something. I mean, don't get me wrong, still a three-star game. Does vary depending on if you're playing it on PC or console. If you're on console, it's pretty much your only choice for an RTS. If you're playing it on PC, no, because you have other choices. Unless you desperately need Halo. But even if you desperately need Halo, why would you want to play Halo Wars 2? Because the Halo content in it is just units, uh, the skins, uh, the campaign itself. It's kind of one of the worst Halo stories. In fact, I literally cannot remember the campaign now, and I just played it. I'm like, cool, there were cool cutscenes. Why did we do each mission? No idea. So there's that. 
But yeah, let me know down below uh, what you thought of it personally. I'm very interested to see different like perspectives because I'm still a little bit iffy on you know which aspects were the better aspects and which were the worse. Uh, other than the fact that you know I obviously said that the campaign was eh, for me. But uh, yeah, uh, comment, subscribe, like you know that jazz. You're on YouTube. You probably know already. And uh, until next time, stay shiny.